Hey everyone, Andy from Single Trap Magazine here, and today it is News Desk 8. It's the last news desk before the Easter vacation. Uh, so let's get into the breaking news this week. First up is uh, Rat Boy, and he's been spotted again on that prototype Cannondale downhill bike, this time at Revolution Bike Park. Now we've seen in previous leaks that this uh, prototype bike has an internal shock on the down tube, and it also appears to have other shock mounts, so you can mount it on the, uh, actually out externally on the down tube and on the top tube as well. And if you have a look at these images, I've marked out where I think there are different shock mounts. It's a really weird idea. I'm not entirely sure what's going on or whether Cannondale plan to actually produce this frame. But if you're out this weekend and you spot Josh Priceland on a weird looking bike, please take a photo of it and send it over to us because uh, we're really intrigued by this. Next up is Miriam Nicole. She's the commensal uh, rider for the World Cup. And unfortunately, she will not be taking part in a full World Cup season this year because she's had a major accident. Apparently in training, she had a, a bit of an off because the wind blew her off the bike. When she landed, she landed on her foot in a weird position, broke it and dislocated it as well. So she's had surgery already and she's resting up. No idea when she'll be back on the bike. But uh, yeah, we hope she's back on soon and uh, we hope she can compete in some of the World Cup races this year. All right, now uh, if we head over to Sea Otter. Now, we personally didn't go to Sea Otter. Well, I personally didn't go to Sea Otter, but Chips was there. And he's been hunting around all the different booths and checking out all the different brands. And he's come uh, back with some really cool stories. If you check out on Single Track Magazine, on singletrackworld.com, you'll see loads of Sea Otter content. Uh, but things that came to sprung to mind to me that are interesting are this, the Pole Stamina 140. We've already talked about this in previous news desks. Um, it was called the Bushmaster. Now it's the um, Stamina 140. It has 140 mil travel front and rear. It has 29 inch wheels and it's machined from two pieces of aluminium that are then bonded together. Now, the previous stamina and the previous machine had the same kind of uh, manufacturing process, but they were bonded and bolted. Paul has gone for a bonded only um, manufacturing process to save some weight. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool looking bike. It's got a 64 degree super slack head angle. It's got a 78 degree seat tube uh, angle. So, you, you know, climbing should be pretty decent on it. And a size large has a monster reach of 500 millimeters. So really, really cool looking bike. Another cool looking bike from Sea Otter is the Yeti SB130 Lunch Ride Edition. So we've already seen the SB130, which is a 137 or 136 mil travel bike, um, even though it's called a 130. This is kind of the beefed up version. So it's got chunkier tires, it's got a piggyback shock on the rear, and it's got a Fox 36 on the front with 160 mil travel. So yeah, it, it might look like a trail bike, just, you know, from a distance, but look up close, and this is capable of a lot more. And uh, it's getting a lot of attention, as, as most really cool Yetis tend to do. Uh, other interesting news from um, Sea Otter is this Marin e-bike. Now, I'm not entirely sure what Marin are aiming to do. It, to me, it looks like they're trying to create the world's heaviest bike, because what they've done is they've taken an e-bike, then they've made it from steel, and then they've added bags to it, and in one of those bags, they put an extra battery in it and a charger. And even the handlebar is overbuilt. It's, it's not a steel handlebar that I first thought. It's an aluminium bar, but it's got a welded beam across the top of it. So um, looking at it, oh, it's got plus tires as well, just to add to the extra weight. So looking at it, it looks like it's something that a bike packer would enjoy riding. Um, but I'm not entirely sure what you could actually carry in those bags with that additional battery plus what the range would be even with those two batteries. So an interesting idea, but oh yeah, I'm not too sure about it. Uh, next news is Hannah. Now Hannah from Single Track has, I, I think she should start her own video similar to this, but it's gonna be called Hannah's Hacks because yesterday she posted a really cool hack on singletrackworld.com and on YouTube and it's already going viral, people are loving it. And it's a hack on how to revive your RockShox Reverb dropper post without using any tools. So for, have you ever had that point where you've uh, gone for a ride, you've taken your bike out of the car and you've got a really squishy reverb? Well, if you go check out Hannah's hack, she'll show you how to fix it so you can enjoy your ride and then uh, you know, get it blood up and serviced properly in a, at a later date. Really cool hack, very worthwhile knowing that, uh, that hack. 
And uh, another piece of news is um, our Easter Ugg. Easter Ugg? <laughs> not Ugg, not the shoes. UGG though, was not it? Easter egg competition. Well, it's not really an Easter egg competition, but basically it's another Hannah video. Hannah would like us to get to 10,000 subscribers on YouTube as quickly as possible. We all would, we all would. So what we're doing, we're giving away a free digital subscription to Single Trap Magazine. And what that means is you get access to all of the content online, obviously, but you get con uh, access to all our magazine content online as well for free. So you don't need to buy magazines. It's all for free. And uh, all you need to do is um, watch Hannah's video. Uh, I believe there's a story on Single Track World now. And I think you need to count how many eggs there are and also subscribe to uh, Single Track Ma uh, Magazine on YouTube as well. So yeah, if you help us get to 10,000, we'll help to give you free content. So there you go. And uh, last but not least is this. Uh, Amanda has given me a picture of a dingo, which is a dog. Did you find this dog? No. No. Uh, you rescued, she, uh, Amanda rescued this dog. It's Robin the Dingo. He's, he's going to become a trail dog. So he's learning how to backflip and bunny hop at the moment. But if you've got any hints or tips on how to train a trail dog, please let us know in the comments section below because Amanda would love to hear that. Really cute dog. And that's it. That's it for News Desk 8. Uh, tune in next week for News Desk 9. And we could be talking about anything. I, don't, I have no idea what we'll be talking about. Please enjoy Easter. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, see you all soon. Bye-bye.